Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. I have a fun and easy full watercolor card featuring Simon Says Stamps Delicate Outline Flowers background stamp. If you like the look of watercolor but are a bit nervous about jumping in at the deep end, this is a nice easy place to start. I begin by removing the foam mat from my MISTI and positioning my rubber stamp. I will be working on Bristol Smooth cardstock. I begin with an oversized piece. I have selected a rainbow of colors of Tombow watercolor brush markers. I find it easiest to lay them out in the order in which I'm going to use them. Starting with red, the marker is held almost flat against the stamp. The color is easily brushed on, catching only the raised part of the stamp. Each color will be stamped on at least a couple of times. For the first stamping, I spritz on a little bit of water so that I can move that color easily into the open areas of the image. I do this very quickly using a water brush pen. The image is stamped a second time to help define those lines. The stamp is not cleaned when I move on to my next color. I can see exactly where the new strip of ink is going to begin. The spritzing of the water helps the inks blend together where they meet. The same procedure is followed. I pull the color out with a watercolor pen and then re-stamp the image to define the lines. I continue in the same manner with yellow, green, blue and purple markers. Sometimes after stamping when the stamp has been spritzed, there can be pooling of water. I use a corner of paper towel to absorb the water so that I don't disturb the stamped lines around it. I don't think I mentioned why I chose Bristol Smooth cardstock for this project. Bristol Smooth has the ability to accept a small amount of water without any pilling. I chose this cardstock over watercolor paper because it is nice and smooth. The stamped images would have a crisper, clean look to them than if I had used the textured watercolor paper. When my panel of rainbow flowers are complete, then I go in and do a little bit of shading work. For this next step, I'm working with a number four watercolor brush and some water that has been mixed with Perfect Pearls. The Perfect Pearls will add a nice shimmer to the project when the light catches it. I add in some shading by using the same marker that the flower was stamped with. The color is placed at the base of the petal and then I use the Perfect Pearl solution to pull that out. This creates a gradient, darkest to lightest, and adds dimension to the flowers and the leaves. This extra step of adding in extra dimension really does not take a lot of time and the painting goes very quickly. When the painting was complete, I used a stitched rectangle die that was slightly smaller than an A2 size to cut the panel down. I made sure that when I placed the die that I was catching all of the colors of the rainbow. The panel was then spattered with white gouache that had been slightly watered down. To avoid a mess, I use a spatter box. I'm applying the gouache with a number one watercolor brush. The smaller the brush, the finer the spatter. Gouache is my favorite medium for applying spatter. It leaves a nice texture, but it also remains opaque and does not absorb the color underneath it. When the panel is dry, it is adhered to white sheet foam and then to black cardstock before being attached to an A2 size card base. 
I use Nina Classic Crest 110 pound cardstock for my bases. Not only is it sturdy, but when you score and fold it, it never cracks. The sentiment for this card is one of my favorite Simon Says Stamps Sending Smiles. I die cut it three times from 110 pound cardstock and then dotted each of them with Tombow glue. After the glue was dry, the sentiments were stacked. Tombow glue, when dry, is tacky and repositionable. This gives you lots of maneuverability to make sure that you get your stacked sentiments completely aligned. The card was embellished with Nouveau Drops. Three matching accents were placed on each of the six bands of colour to finish up this rainbow card. I love the versatility of a background stamp. Simon Says Stamps Delicate Outline Flowers is a classic beauty that I know that I will come back to time and time again. Until next time, as always, I appreciate your visit.